Hello and welcome guys to the final part of Sonic Lost World and uh let's just end this shall we so um I uh I'm gonna start off this episode by going through the DLC for this game which is themed around uh Sega's um uh, Sonic Team's franchise known as Knights in Dreams um and this was DLC you got if you got like an early edition of the game called the Deadly Six Edition, but I also think it's available for download. Um, if you get it on the Nintendo eShop, I think you, it also comes with this, so I don't even know what the point is. Alright, so Sonic's just gonna take a nap. How do those bubbles work? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Sorry about my little rage, uh, last part with the, uh, Hidden World 4, but the fact that Sage had no checkpoints just made me lose my patience. But I do like these stages. Uh, the DLC stages I'm going to be showing off here. Oh, hi, Wiseman. Will I get to a playthrough of Nights into Dreams? Probably. Uh, it's going to be pretty short. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll probably get to it. It's just the problem is it only has two games, and I only own the, the classic one. Basically, this is a boss rush. Uh, but instead of fighting, uh, the, the, um, the Deadly Six, you're mainly actually fighting just the, the enemies they're riding. All the, um, all the, um, other things around the bosses, like, uh, this hand, or the thing that, uh, Zaz is riding, those, these are all Knight's bosses. The first one was called Puffy, I believe, and this one's just Wise Man's hand. Uh, for this fight, all these fights are simplified. For this fight, all you're doing is landing on the hand, and you're done. This is, uh... Crap. I, I, don't, I don't know what this... Uh, I don't know all the knights' boss names. I'm not very good, well-versed in knights. Uh, you just get him into it, and that's done. Again, these are all simplified. I know that's a boss from knights, though. I remember fighting that thing. This is a great way to pick up the lives. Uh, in these sections, you can get a lot of lives, which I failed to do. Or actually, no, a lot of rings, which will get you lives. What do I think of Nights and Dreams? That's eh, alright. Ah, I don't know what this one is. It's based off a cat. You're supposed to get these fireworks. Uh, this this was, that, without a doubt, the most annoying boss in that game. But you're supposed to get rid of all the cats and then strike him. But you got all the cats off, and he's done. And now, this guy is Jackie. I know who this is. For those of you who don't know what Knights is, it's basically, um... It's a dream game. Like, you're playing in control of Knights along with two kids who are having a dream. And Knights is kind of trying to save the dreamland while they're kind of dualizing or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, I mean, it's an alright game. And this fight is much better. And the, uh, boss he's riding is Gillowing. Remember that core you had to strike just for, uh, to get on that ladder? Guess what? You don't even have to get on him anymore. Just strike it. More times. You're just striking the tail. There we go. Now he's done. Uh, the, uh, person you saw flying with us right now is Rayala, and up behind her comes Knights. Uh, Rayala is the red and black one, and Knights is the purple one. All these rings give you ten, uh, ten rings, and they're all about, uh, and they're all from Knights, so... I really wish they Sega would do more with their uh, franchises. Like, I, I I don't really understand why they just milk Sonic.
Once you complete a DLC stage, it won't come back again until you score 100,000 points at the end of the stage. And you also get a bonus uh, item for your suitcase, which I will not use. Uh, Alright, before we move on to the DLCs that came later, I'm going to show off Supersonic for real. Uh, so, see, do I have an item in my briefcase I could probably use for this? Ah, I don't. Alright. So I'm, you need to collect 50 rings, so I'm just going to go do that real fast, as fast as I can. Basically get 50 rings, tap the screen, you get Supersonic. Supersonic has better acceleration than normal Sonic, he draws in rings, he is invincible, and instead of spin dashing, he boosts. I kind of wish his parkour was increased, but oh uh, well. His boost is pretty much as fast as a spin dash, except it's instantaneous. So you don't have to. So even if you're speed running, you can double jump and you can still just boost off the ground. He can ignore all ground terrain, and I think it's pretty good. Look, he's better than what Supersonic is in Sonic Generations, damn it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This is actually a pretty fun Supersonic. Uh, although I think he's a little bit more fun in uh, Sonic Colors. I think Sonic Colors handled him the best when it comes to 3D Supersonic. So, yeah. Uh, Supersonic's not really worth getting all the red rings in the game, because that's how you unlock him. But, I mean, if you do get all the red rings, I think this is a pretty good bonus. Especially since it'll help you through all the levels. For some reason, his hair goes back down whenever uh, he parkours. <laughs> that golden streak of light just looks weird. See, these things aren't hurting me at all. However, your rings do drain one second at a time, so be, so be wary of that. Anyway, that's Supersonic. So let's get on with um, let's get on with the other DLC. Now, before I go anywhere, the DLC is actually free. Both of these DLC levels I'm about to show off are actually free levels. You can just download them as long as you have access to the Nintendo eShop. So I think it's really nice that they gave us access to these things for free. Anyway, let's get on to the first one that was released: Yoshi's Island Zone. And I think this is more based on Yoshi's Whirly World, a game that's coming out later in 2015, I think. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the gimmick with this stage is that you're pretty much playing, uh, you're pretty much, you're trying to get as many eggs as possible to the end. And now you're fighting Mario, uh, Yoshi's Island themed enemies. I personally have never played a Yoshi's Island game. Who knows, maybe I'll try Whirly World when it comes out, but... Yeah, my personal experience is kind of bare. Those prawn plants can't be killed normally. You have to uh, kick something into them. And if you get hit, you lose all your eggs. So, the each egg that you save at the end of the stage will give you three extra lives each. There's a total of about, I believe, maybe 12. I don't know what the flowers do. Uh, uh, I, in the Yoshi's Island games, they uh, gave you a, bon a higher chance of getting a bonus stage at the end of the level. In this, I don't think they do anything. They are on the wheel, I think, but they don't do anything. I'm collecting them anyway, though. Watch out for the small, for small red plants, man. Their piranha plants just hiding out, waiting to hit you, like that. That's really stupid. Again, get as many of these eggs as you can. Each uh, block gives you three. No, no. 
And every for every egg, you get, I believe, three lives. So this is a really good place to rack up the lives if you're well versed in it. However, again, if you get hit once, all those eggs are gone. So don't get hit. Just be patient with this level and you'll find you'll get rewards. Whoa! Shoot. There we go. Yeah, here's the roulette. So you get three lives each Yoshi, which means you're gonna get about 36 if you get all the eggs. And that's a lot. Uh... Just do three run-throughs, and you already maxed out your lives. Uh, but honestly, I find it a bit too risky. I'd honestly rather go to the lives level I mentioned, if I have actual skill. Once again, you get a Bomb Wisp. The Bomb Wisp sucks, by the way. Never use it, unless it's for a challenge. So, yeah. And let's finally move on to the last part of this. The Legend of Zelda Zone. This is without doubt the best DLC for this game. Oh yes. Hi Link. So yeah, now we're in Link's clothing. And we instead of rings, we have hearts, just like in the classic, just like in the uh, Zelda series. And you know what? I really like this place cuz it's very open. You can just run around for a little bit. I think that's pretty fun. Uh And for every every rupee that you collect, has its own value, just like uh, in the Legend of Zelda series, and that value translates into animals. So, that's nice. You can interact with those stones with bombs, like the Bomb Wisp or the enemies that we'll run into later. But I don't really see any point. They All they do is, like, shake. Anyway, you can look around for things like heart pieces, uh, just a bunch of rupees, all kinds of stuff, and I, I think that's really nice. Hi, Link. Yeah, screw you. Why did I slow down? That's me being stupid. Um, here, let me show you how you're supposed to do it. Okay, for some reason I don't have enough speed to make that jump, so I'm going to have to spin dash. I don't know why, I could have sworn you could run and get it. I don't understand, huh. Even when I sprint, what? What am I doing wrong here? I think I'm, I think I'm going at enough, with enough speed. Why can't I turn the camera around? There we go. I don't know why I couldn't do that the first time. Oh well. I like how he like has to like re um, climb up into the cage and pick it up. It pretty much just adds a heart. Sorry for that performance, but I don't really care about my lives anyway, so why does it matter? Uh, also, um, just like classic Zelda fashion, don't mess with the cuckos. Just, uh, just tip for you there. Whatever. Ah, what the? He just spawned right in front of me. That wasn't fair. Again, I like this DLC a lot, but, uh, for some reason that bomb just spawned right in front of me. I don't know why I'm doing so terrible on this. 
And those are Gorons, by the way, which is a nice detail. There's Link again. You can use a bomb to blow up that seal, by the way. You can find more heart pieces by uh, going in under the cracks like I didn't do. I don't know if there's any way to restore your hearts, though, other than collecting heart pieces. And that's it, guys. We're going to pick up the Triforce. And we're done. Who knows, maybe I'll get to a multiplayer video, but other than that, that's it for Sonic Lost World, guys. An okay game overall. Try out the demo, see if you like it. If you don't, then don't bother. I personally enjoy it, but not to nearly to the extent of Sonic Adventure 2. Anyway, guys, see you next time.